visiting with Lummi High School North Sea coach Rebecca Watson as we get set for the state championships. I know you're excited for this. Is it? Is it finally? You're finally excited that it's actually here this weekend? Yes. Oh my gosh! And that we have snow, and we, you know the porta potties arrived, so I know that the race is actually going to happen. <laughs> Speaking of the snow, that's been kind of a worry this year. You guys haven't always been able to get up to the trails a, a lot. How much of an issue has that been and how thankful were you the last couple storms that come through? You know, it's been a big issue. Um, we started out with five weeks of dry land and then we got on snow and then it melted. Um, so it's really been touch and go. We've had a lot of changes in our race uh, season. And so finally we feel like, you know, just this last portion of the season we're on steady snow and um, this last storm really was the thing that solidified whether we could host state or not. So um, it's been touch and go. It's been an interesting, exciting season. <laughs> All right. How would you describe the current conditions up there and what you're going to be able to ski on Friday and Saturday? You know, I actually would describe it as being picture perfect right now. And uh, just getting a little bit of cold the last couple of days has solidified the snow that we got. And so um, really, as long as we um, keep this steady weather going, we're going to have some beautiful conditions to ski on. Now, I'm not a Nordic of the skiing aficionado when it comes to conditions, so you describe picture perfect. What do you mean by that for those of us who are not familiar with what we're looking at for the conditions in the trail? Yeah, for sure. You know, so the, one of the biggest things is that we can set a track that we can ski classic technique in. And um, then if you think about corduroy pants, that's exactly what we're looking for in our trails, just that perfect corduroy. <laughs> okay, all right, I understand that now. Talk about the team race. What, what are we looking at this weekend? Who are the favorites? How does Laramie factor in? You know, Natrona boys are looking very strong and it's going to be quite a battle between our boys and Natrona. Um, I think the girls, it's gonna be a bit of a toss up. Lander girls are looking really, really strong and coming on really nicely, but you know, Jackson always has a few extra surprises in there. Um, so, you know, I think that both the boys and the girls have a really good chance of being up in the top three and uh, man, I think they could do even better than that. What will it take to get up in that mix, do you think, this weekend? What do you need to see from your kids? You know, I think, and we've talked about this um, quite a bit, of just being all in um, and being ready to go and, and being willing to fight for it. So I think that they're really prepared, um, both psychologically and fitness-wise, um, to go out and really take on the rest of the state. Liam McRoy won both individual races last year up at state. What has he got to do to duplicate those performances in what's kind of been unfortunately a bumpy senior year because he hasn't been 100% healthy? Right, you know, he did have a little bit of um, a bumpy last couple weeks. And so I think the biggest thing now is just taking care of himself, making sure he's resting really well, um, eating, eating enough and um, getting, getting plenty of water. And um, then just knowing that he knows these trails better than anybody else in the state and um, that he's got that experience behind him so he can go out and do it. Do you feel like you got other individuals that'll be able to kind of vie and, and you know maybe make some pushes in the top 10? Because I don't want to forget Abigail because she's had a fantastic sophomore year, always seems to finish second, unfortunately. <laughs> I know she's won a few races, but do you feel like you got several right boys and girls that can buy? Absolutely. Abigail is really just looking stronger and stronger every day and especially technically she's come from um, being a beginner skier to really being a technically strong skier. She's always been fit and now she's putting that technique into place um, and I can't leave out also Marlena. She's gonna, She's been right there falling for that second position um, on the team and then also Albert Steiner. I mean they the, you know, Albert is going to be incredibly strong and going to be fighting for that top five position too. Everybody talks about, you know, shooting for your best performances at the right time of year. So my last question, do you feel your squads are ready to put forth their best efforts in a meet that you host on your home turf? Absolutely. They're 100% ready. Best of luck at the state championships. Thank you.